In this video we're going to make a prop for Halloween. To do this you're going to need an empty clean wheelie bin. I've also used a rodless cylinder which I actually bought at auction so I did get that quite cheap. You're also going to need a five port two way pneumatic valve and also a compressor. This is pretty simple to set up. The actual witch port actually came from a local shop and that was about £15. To make the zombie bin I've used this rodless cylinder which operates off pneumatics obviously. We've also got a valve here that works off a 12 volt supply. That is a, a five port two way valve. And then over here we have a 12 volt PIR. So what happens is in the resting state, the cylinder will be in the bottom position like so. Once the PIR energizes the solenoid valve here, it will make the cylinder rise up. Obviously if we attach something to that, it's gonna pop out of the bin. This is all done by 12 volt circuitry. The actual relay and the solenoid on there is actually 12 volt. And I'll just plug this in and show you exactly how it works. You can see that the PIR is actually picking me up when I move. I don't actually want to fix anything to the inside of the bin so I'm just making a wooden frame out of some 3x2 timber and a couple of pieces of 2x1. I'm now just nailing all these pieces together which will give us a frame which we can fix the rodless cylinder to. So I'm now just trying that in the bin and that fits perfectly in there. That's what the frame looks like when it's inside of the bin. You can see that the bin lid closes and opens easily. So where I'm pointing now, that is where we're going to fix the rodless cylinder to. So I'm just going to pull that out. I'm just going to line that on top of the bin. And then I'm going to position the rodless cylinder and I'm going to screw that in position. You will notice that I put a support piece at the bottom and the top where I can screw the rodless cylinder to. And I'm now just trying that in the bin again. This is the five port two way solenoid, which is activated by 12 volts. You can see that I'm just nailing that to the back of the frame. I've now put a zombie on a stick and fastened it to the carriage. And you can see that when I energize it using the battery, the zombie pops up out of the bin. Obviously we don't want the zombie head to open the bin so we're going to make something using a piece of steel and the bearing to open the lid on the bin. This piece of steel is an old shelf bracket. I'm actually cutting that to length and I'm going to attach a bearing to the end of that and then we're going to use that to actually open the lid on the bin. That's going to be fixed to the carriage via this bent piece of aluminium, which I am now cutting to the correct length. I have put some heat shrink sleeving on the wires already. Once they are soldered, I will then heat up the heat shrink sleeving. I'm now just soldering the three wires together. So I'm now going to use the heat gun to shrink the sleeving. And then I'm just going to slide down this bigger piece of sleeving. And I'm going to shrink that over the three wires. I'm now just crimping on the bootleg ferrule. And once I've done that, I'm then going to squash the end of it flat using a pair of mold grips. That will enable me to push that into the battery terminal. I don't actually have the air connected at the minute, but I can just demonstrate how this is going to work. You'll notice that I've put a strip of LEDs around the top of the bin. That will be for the night time. I've now got a 12 volt battery and I've identified positive and negative. I 
I've now put the negative from the solenoid into the battery and I've now got the PIR If you look in this shot, you can actually see the PIR and you can also see the solenoid in the same shot. You'll see that when the PIR is illuminated, it actually energizes the solenoid, which would then make the cylinder pop up out of the bin. I'm now gonna set up a limit switch. So once this is in the down position, like so and the switch is made, that will there will actually be no contact there. Once it's released, like so, it will then complete the circuit. So I'm gonna use this one for the actual lights that go around the top of the wheelie bin. So as soon as this carriage slides up and moves off the limit switch, the lights on the wheelie bin will illuminate. So if we just take a look at that from underneath, you can see that once the carriage is raised, it makes the switch, which will close the circuit. Once it's down, it actually opens the circuit. So that will actually save the battery. So there is the limit switch that will activate the lights on the wheelie bin. And then that is the witch. I've actually put a steel brace in there because I did have two pieces of wood going across the top, but they did actually get in the way because the witch is a bit bigger than the model I originally used. So I've now put a steel brace in. So that is the witch. And obviously once that's connected up to the pneumatics, once the PIR is made, the witch then shoots out of the bin. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel.